Hello everyone. Welcome back to Brissy Malus. So today we are going to configure TP-Link Deco Wi-Fi mesh. So this is Deco AX3000. So we have already configured TP-Link Wi-Fi modem. Uh, also there was an uh, like extender. Now this is this time we are going to configure TP-Link mesh Wi-Fi. So the features you can see here. So you can remove all the dead zones, connect to our 150 devices, fast Wi-Fi speed, AI driven mesh, easy to set up by Deco app. So we'll, con we'll show you how to configure all those things. Um, this is actually Wi-Fi 6 technology. So you can purchase this either one, two or three. So this one is particularly two. It depends on how many rooms or how much area you need to cover. Uh, this uh, house where we are going to set up this is actually a single story house, uh, but it's kind of an L shape. So we just want to cover all the area. That's the reason we bought two. So if you have a normal uh, TP-Link modem, you can just buy one um, so if your TP-Link modem supports mesh you can just buy one and then configure that uh, like a one mesh setup so I have explained that in the previous videos uh, I'll have the link in the description if you want to go and uh, check that one Um, see one of the best features I liked in TP-Link is the parental control so if you want to control the device's uh, time you can actually schedule the time um, you can say this particular device work only for this particular time even you can do some kind of uh, filtering like the network network filtering so you can give some keywords uh, like violence or whatever you want and then you can actually filter uh the uh, internet using the tp link modem and uh, sorry tp link uh, app i'll show you how to configure those things in this uh, video okay, we are going to configure the first one so what we did we just plugged in and this is our modem existing modem so we are going to plug in from here like i'm selecting one of the lan ports here okay so it's plugged in here and the other end goes here in one of the mesh modem Okay, that's all we are doing. The rest of the things yeah. are in uh, the app. So let's see how we configure that. Okay, so the first thing we installed um, TP-Link Deco app and then we just logged in uh, creating a new ID. So this is the uh, app you need to install, TP-Link Deco. Okay, so we just installed and created a new account and then just logged in there. Okay, so let's see how to configure this. So once you plug in that, you can see the blue light flashing. It means it's the deco modem is ready to configure. Okay, so let's begin. Need to give a local network permission. So if it's already given, just give, say I have already given. Now select your deco. So we just need to select which deco modem it is. It's here we need to select the uh, mod uh, modem type so it's x double five so it's talking about what we need to do it so it's already set up everything we we'll click next so power of your modem uh, we don't need to actually power of the modem click next plug in your device so you just need to make sure that it's connected to your modem and then it's connected back to the uh, wi-fi mesh so if you see here this is the existing modem we connected one end to the LAN port and other other end to the uh, uh, mesh. 
so i'm just changing that one to the port one uh, it, it's it was showing as to port one in the diagram so in the setup so just change that one to port one as shown the um so it's saying check your modem and see it's green yeah we already checked that one wait until the cost led pulses blue um you can see it's already in blue you can see it's blinking in blue color so everything is good the click next so now it's actually searching uh, for the wi-fi it's asking to join the wi-fi network just say join i will just wait for the next steps you can see now it's connected and it's asking the location so we are just selecting now here living room um and then clicking next so it's trying to connect to the internet um so it's saying it's connecting to the internet um using dynamic ip so just select as is and uh, no need to change anything there um you just click uh, next uh, and uh, continue just click next and continue um now okay so this is a place where you need to give a wi-fi network a name uh, so this is called the SSID. So you need to specify a name and password for that. Uh, so either you can use the existing Wi-Fi network name and password, or you can configure a new one. A name, uh, the SSID so I'm just uh, the adding that and one, uh, and, and just um, we just continue further. So it's just creating the Wi-Fi network now. So you can see the light so you, you can it see now the blue, the blue, light is now solid blue, blue it means it's blue. connected now it's turned, turned to green. green it means all the setup is almost completed um, we still need to wait for some more time for that okay, so it's showing the configuration previous configuration so it's saying join just connected to the new deco modem from the phone okay so your deco network is now set up the deco is ready to use please connect all devices to deco network for better connection so what you need to do you need to change from your existing modem uh, to this one but what happens means if you are using the existing uh, ssid or the wi-fi name it will be if you switch off the existing modem wi-fi then all the devices will automatically connect to the uh, deco wi-fi so if you are using a different name you just disconnect that existing one and connect to the deco wi-fi name that you have given that's all you need to do okay so the next modem uh, next one is like add more deco so we purchased two uh, one um, two units in uh, one so we'll configure that now so one is in the living room and the other one will keep it in the other bedroom you just switch it on uh, connected the other deco unit in the other bedroom and the just switch it on now you can see the color is yellow uh, we'll wait for that one to turn to green um, that means it is connected to the existing deco one adding the other wi-fi network so you can see that it's actually now in the blue um flashing modes it means it's configuring that we are expect to see the new deco over here in this app now you can see it is turned to green and in the app you can see the new deco device added so so this is the new one So it's showing signal strength, how much uh, kbps and all you can edit here and give a name like say for example bedroom and now bedroom save. So now you can rename that one. So it should be one showing as living room and the other one is showing as bedroom. So you can see here living room bedroom. And you can see here in living room five devices are connected and the bedroom zero so basically it need so it's like seamless switching it means you won't feel any difference when you 
move or, or when your device connects from one deco to the other deco one it will be seamless for you so if you are even watching uh, any or you are streaming anything video or anything you will not see any difference it will smoothly connect from one to the other one when it reaches to the uh, uh, the closest or the highest signal strength so the other interesting feature is like so it, some of the devices works only on 2.4 gigahertz bandwidth for example if you have a smart wi-fi uh, down light or old laptops they support only 2.4 gigahertz network so those um, down for example down lights if you want to configure you need to be in 2.4 gigahertz so the easiest way for that one is like if you go to wi-fi settings here um you have if you go to advanced so you can select a band from here like see now it's 2.4 and 5 enabled so you just switch to 2.4 and then configure your device and once it's configured come back and switch to 2.4 and 5 so this way you can easily configure that device so most of the modems don't have that feature um, so it's difficult to configure those down lights or, or in smart uh, uh, devices uh, with this configuration. Let's explore the other options we were in network now if I go to security so you can see what all things uh, you, you can actually upgrade to home shield pro I think that's a subscription one um, but otherwise it's saying one risk font so when I click on risk whatever it is let's see Mm, okay so one risk found it's saying that router security um, and then what is saying firmware version update so okay so we need to upgrade uh, update the firmware version on this deco modems we'll do that after a while uh, let's go to the parent protection so okay this is what i was talking before par parent control so i'll show you how we can set up the parent control and what options we have so so this is just talking talking about the feature so it has got uh, flexible time control i mentioned like you can set the time internet usage time on weekdays weekends and what time in between and what's your bedtime everything um, it can it has got uh, content filtering as i said you can add keywords to filter your uh, websites you can see online usage analysis you can see what websites are viewed and uh, what are the details um, distinct profiles by age okay you see um, now it's asking to create a profile so i'm just uh, doing some sample here so i'm saying just create a test one and select age i'm saying the age is 10 okay so now you need to see what device you need to add um, i'm just selecting uh, for now one device and say done um okay now you see it's uh, actually added so in test profile we have one device and you can add the filter content so if you go to filter content you see it's already giving you some examples like adult content gambling sex education so if you want to filter any content here you just select that and say save so when you select if anything any content uh, content coming under that particular category will be blocked okay so blocked websites so you can specifically say any websites for example you can say facebook.com so facebook.com you can save like this and then save it so it means for this particular device facebook will be blocked okay now okay so bedtime so you can set bedtime so you can say every day or weekdays or weekend okay so you can set bedtime so when you select bedtime that in um, internet will be turned off for this particular devices added to this uh, policy will be automatically yeah it looks like the weekdays weekends and custom days is a pro feature so you need to buy the pro for that but at least every day you can set uh, uh, the bedtime but as i said other features are all working so you can use filter contents blocked websites then so actually you can set time limits but it, it looks like it is blocked i mean you need to do home shield pro 
I'm not sure whether I think I have shown that one for the other normal uh, TP-Link app has got all those features free, uh, but not in this uh, Deco app. So yeah, almost all those features are locked uh, and we need to purchase the Home Shield Pro for that. Um, to just to see sorry just see uh, the features you can see reports you can block uh, you can see the quality of service um, then you can see the Wi-Fi settings here you can change the Wi-Fi settings from here you can enable disable gust network um, then what is this WPS so it gives uh, the internet connection details From here you can if you want you can block some of the devices so for example if I go here say I want to block this one I'm going here and then you have an option called block so like this you can block a device if you want. Everything is configured you can see everything is good uh, the speed is awesome uh, so um, I, I recommend this one but only thing I didn't like here is that they put all the controls like the parent control everything for the pro version so you need to pay for that almost like ten dollars a month that's that's something i didn't like it was actually free on the the normal uh tp link app but on the deco you have to pay for it so that's something i don't like i didn't like in this but otherwise the performance wise everything is good um and uh, we really like this uh, uh mesh network um, that's all for today. Um, thanks for watching Brzee Modules. Please subscribe and support us. Thank you.